Hey guys, what's up? Want to give you a couple tips over here on your Windows 10 installation. If you're doing a, a refresh and install, uh, whichever one you're doing, you're going to wind up coming to this screen. Get going fast, right? Everybody wants to get going fast, and that's what Microsoft wants you to do. They want you to get going fast, and they want you to use the express settings, you know, quick, like right now. That way they can uh, be all in your computer and know everything about you, what you're doing, what you're not doing. So if you're good with that, go right ahead with the Express. If not, I recommend you actually go uh, manually down here, tiny, customize settings, and actually take a look. Read. What do you think? Do you want Microsoft uh, checking everything you're doing? These, I'm not going to go individually, but most of these you could, you could turn off. Uh, but take your time with them. Some of them you do want to turn off. And then some are just uh, optional. I'm going to go through them here. I don't have them off the top of my head, but the last time I took a look, um, I did turn some of them off. So let's take a look. Personalization. For example, here, do you want to send all your contact, all that information to Microsoft? Me? If it was me, I would say no. I'd probably recommend no, unless you got a good reason to do it. Uh, the second one, send typing information. I'd knock that out. Uh, apps using advertising ID I'd probably knock that one out too Skype if you're really using Skype maybe I will leave this on but frankly I take it off too Skype is not if Skype needs anything it's gonna turn it on so this first screen my recommendations right there are off I may have another video tomorrow that says otherwise but for now that would be that um, go to the next one actually no we almost didn't see that uh, my location I would turn that one off as well if you find that you're doing things and you want to be uh, located then then that's fine but otherwise this is all the information that Microsoft wants from me granted on your phones all this stuff you know you're giving it to Google you're giving it to uh, to Apple but frankly, before Windows 10 and Windows 8, we're not really used to all this kind of stuff going to the vendor. So it's up to you. The other part is that all this, all this kind of stuff is going to slow down your uh, your performance. Granted, if you got a super fast computer, it's not going to make a difference. But if you buy yourself, uh, you know, $300 computer, all these things going back and forth to Microsoft could, you know, make a little bit of a difference. Here, uh, you got some other other customizations off a network share back off hotspots automatically no you do not want to connect automatically to a hotspot you do not want that error and diagnostics I would turn that off too Microsoft's got plenty of people sending them info they don't really need yours I would turn that off second page all off last Smart screen. I'd probably leave that one on. The first one. The uh, prediction. Yes, I'd probably leave that on. And this last one, I would for sure turn off. So that's my recommendation for now on page three. So you got rid of some stuff there. I had another video with some other customizations, which were uh, if you're not using Cortana, turn her off. And uh, if you're if you're separating your online search from your local search, then I would also uh, have it to not search the internet every time you're looking for something on your computer. So those are a couple updates there. And uh, any new stuff that comes up, we'll post it for you. Another quick tip: if you are setting up, if Microsoft wants you to create an account and log in with them and uh, ask permission every time you're going to use the computer. Uh, unless you really want to do that, I suggest you make a local account, which is the way that computers have been used for the last, I don't know, 20 years, what have you. It's down here. You'd want to skip this step. Otherwise, you're going to create a Microsoft account. So let's go do that. And if you notice, most of the things that I'm recommending are in small text. And you might want to, you know, make a note of that. All the big uh, the big prompts, the salesy kind of uh, messages, 
are all going to probably be a little bit more in favor of Microsoft getting all into your stuff and probably slowing down your computer as well. So just read through everything and we should be good. Thanks for watching.